the carbon dioxide is very interesting for us because the carbon dioxide um, normally thought as a waste gas. Yes. We have to dispose it. We have to get rid of it as much as possible. Um, but the God made everything perfect. <laughs> so carbon dioxide is, n is not a waste. And the carbon dioxide has a very, very um, um, big place in the metabolism, in the equilibrium, in, in order to maintain bal balance how all the system in our body work. So if we get rid of too much carbon dioxide, what we're actually doing when we're hyperventilating, where we are under stress, um, if we hyperventilate too long time, we actually um, we get a blackout, and the blackout is a uh, is actually um, a reaction from our body. It's a protection reaction because. When we hyperventilate too long time, we miss too much hard carbon dioxide. And, but carbon dioxide, according to the law of Bohr, Bohr's law, Bohr, Christian Bohr, is father of Niels Bohr. He made this uh, very interesting um, law in the 1900, 1904. It's actually 110 years ago. And um, of very, very big significance that the carbon dioxide uh, is uh, not a waste product, but actually it, it's a kind of a, uh, uh, it's a substance that, um, that changes the, the way the molecule of uh, hemoglobin tighten, um, ties up to the molecule of oxygen. And when we have uh, too little carbon dioxide, um, the bond between these two molecules is too big. So the oxygen is not released to the cell. So actually, when we hyperventilate, we miss carbon dioxide too much, and the bond is getting too strong. Too strong. Yes. So the carbon dioxide... Uh, uh, the, um, the, molecular the molecule of oxygen, oxygen is not, not released anymore. The, yes, the yeah. And uh, in the physiological books is actually um, written that 3% of carbon dioxide in the alveoles or in the, in, the, in the lungs or in the blood, actually in the blood, 3% of carbon dioxide is the place where we die. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because when we reach 3% of carbon dioxide, we wash out carbon dioxide from the lungs by yeah. hyperventilating, the then the cells stop. Yes, the cells don't get oxygen at all. So, when the stress, from acute stress, when we, you know, when we recover from acute stress, we, uh, the balance gets established again, you know, the equilibrium. So we get in the normal state. But when the acute stress gets to chronic stress, then we actually uh, chronically lower our level of carbon dioxide, which is normal, 6.5%, it's normal level, and 3% is death. So actually, in the physiological books, for 100 years ago, and for actually fi 50 years ago, the normality was defined as 6.5 for carbon dioxide. In the modern physiological books, the normality is already 5.5. So, in 50 years, our race, human race, degenerated, or, I don't know, because of the chronic stress, actually, the normality is now defined 1% lower carbon dioxide. So we actually are breathing in 50 years because of the modern civilization, the goods of modern civilization, um, and some other things, it actually changed already. It's quite drastically. Mm -hmm. Okay? Um, so what we need to retain the balance in the body, to get rid uh, actually of stress, but we cannot get rid of stress, external stress, because it surrounds us. 